Hello everyone and welcome to The Chew. I'm Pastor Robert. This is day two of week two. We're again, we're looking at Psalm 139. Our foundational passage is verses 13 through 18. Today we're going to read some of the other verses that come before that and then three of the verses in the passage that we're using as our foundation. God Loves Us is the title of this series. Today we're looking at God Knows Us. And this is our first theological affirmation. I want to encourage you not only to read this entire passage, I want to encourage you to read the passage before it and the passage after it. Why? Because a lot of times it helps round out what we're reading. It helps us to get a better context. If you have a study Bible, look for the reference verses in the margin or out on the side, depending on how your Bible is laid out. They may even be in footnotes. Read the footnotes. Read those cross-reference verses, go exploring, look for those, and see how they relate to the passage that we're talking about. This is how we learn to explore God's Word and see what He really has for us. And it also allows the Holy Spirit room to work in our hearts and minds to help us to grow in grace. I encourage you to do that. Well, we're going to read the first four verses of this passage. I hope you've grabbed your Bible and you're ready to follow along. Beginning in verse 1. You have looked deep into my heart, Lord, and you know all about me. You know when I am resting or when I am working, and from heaven you discover my thoughts. You notice everything I do and everywhere I go. Before I even speak a word, you know what I will say. And then looking at verse 13 again. You are the one who put me together inside my mother's body. Verses 15 and 16. Nothing about me is hidden from you. I was secretly woven together in the depth of in the deep of the earth below, but with your eyes you saw my body being formed. Even before I was born, you had written in your book everything I would do. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It seems very clear to me, and hopefully clear to you, that God knows us. He knows everything about us. Well, I have a couple of other verses to share for you, share with you. First of all, Jeremiah 12, 3 says this, But you, O Lord, know me. You see me and test my heart toward you. And then in Matthew chapter 10, verse 30, we read this, but even the hairs on your head are all numbered. What a marvelous creator God that we serve. The God who put the universe together knows us before we were ever conceived. And he knows everything about us. And he knows what choices we will make. And he has plans for us. We're going to talk about that later this week. But God knows everything about us. He knows how we're put together. He knows what gifts and talents we will have. He knows what our hair color was long before our parents did, what our eye color would be, our skin tone, everything about us, what we would think about, how we would grow and develop. God knows all of these things. And I'm telling you, you should be comforted by the fact that the God of the universe who created you knows you, and loves you. In spite of the things that we do and the mistakes that we made, God loves us and wants the very best for us. And we're going to be digging in that direction the rest of this week. We have to ask ourselves, this is the God that Jesus served. And so here's the question, which way are we choosing? Are we going to choose Jesus' way? And serve God the way he did? Or are we going to choose our own way? Personally, choosing my own way has not always worked out well for me. How about you? Here's some questions. Do you realize that God knows every person ever conceived? Do you know that God is more passionate about you than anything you can imagine? Do you marvel at the details of your being. Do you marvel at how God puts you together? I do. Do you see that God has plans for you that go beyond what you can see? We're going to be answering some of these questions as we go through the week. I want to encourage you to start thinking about them now, chewing on them, 
digging into these passages with these questions in the back of your mind, asking the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word, a receptive heart and mind to receive those truths, and then the boldness and the courage of Jesus to take the action that you need to take. Because what God has for us is beyond wonderful and marvelous. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.